Enlightenment is simple. It's not complicated, although many people have made it complicated. It's not about attaining or achieving something. No, it's simply about realizing. It's about waking up to who you really are and then living from that state of being of the true self. Now, when you start meditating, which by the way, meditation, the whole point of meditation is to let go of all these different things that are preventing us from experiencing who we really are. And so meditation is the method to self-realization. So when you start meditating, what's going to happen is you're going to have all these different thoughts that arise. And this is typical. This is normal because you're in the beta brainwave state when you first start meditating. And this is the brain, this is the brainwave state where you're predominantly like, you know, in your head space and it's the analytical thinking mind and it's very distracting and your thoughts are all over the place and you feel like you're living from this quality of being that's very surface level. It's very just like whatever and it's just going with whatever your five senses are experiencing and it's the conscious mind. However, what happens when you start meditating is this becomes a major hindrance to going deeper into the deeper meditative states and experiencing what people are really wanting to experience in meditation, which is some kind of transcendence or some kind of mystical experience where there is uh, some kind of encounter with God or some kind of realization of the true self beyond the body, beyond the mind, beyond the ego, beyond space and beyond time. And so what can happen when you start meditating because of the, the thinking mind, because you're primarily in the beta brainwave state, is you can get really frustrated and you can get distracted and it can make you want to give up because you're sitting there thinking, okay, I am meditating in order to have some kind of experience of transcendence, which I know is like way beyond this like analytical thinking mind, this egoic mind. So. I must have to really do something. I must have to really concentrate and focus and say these mantras right, mantras right in order for me to go into these deeper states of meditation. And so you start meditating and you're trying to focus and you're trying to get still and you're trying to experience a quiet mind. And what happens? Well, as many of us know who have been meditating, when we start to do this, all of a sudden it becomes like almost impossible to experience that inner stillness because the mind is so distracting and the voice in the head becomes super loud and it just becomes like I said challenging and discouraging and you really want to quit you want to stop doing it because you feel like you're wasting time and I know this from direct experience I've had many times where I've sat down to meditate and I just felt like I had wasted you know 20 30 minutes of my my day and it felt very unproductive, it felt very empty, and for a while I was thinking that meditation was not for me. However, meditation, the, the, the thing about meditation that I didn't know at the time was that meditation is not about trying not to think. It's not about trying to control your thoughts, which that's what I was trying to do when I was in the beta brainwave state in the early stages of meditation. And little did I know at the time, the more I would try to do this the more I would put myself in a hole and it just felt like it was this thing that would never end and I felt stuck and I felt like, like I said, meditation just wasn't for me. But eventually what I learned from seeking wisdom from those who have been meditating for decades and reading some good books and then just from my own personal experience with never really fully giving up on meditation. Uh, what I realized was that meditation is simply about awareness. And just like, pe just like people make enlightenment a lot more complicated than what it is, people also make meditation a lot more complicated than what it is. And so when you start meditating, really it's not about doing anything. It's not about doing, it's about being. So you're just sitting there and you're just allowing any kind of whatever thought or feeling or emotion to arise you're not judging it you're not trying to like change it or make it go away no you're just letting it do its thing and you you watch it you observe it you witness it and what you notice is every thought every feeling every emotion everything or anything that you can observe 
is impermanent. And, and that's why there's that, that old ancient saying, this too shall pass. That's true for anything in life. Anything that you can observe, anything that you can witness is impermanent. It's temporary. It comes and then it goes, just like the clouds in the sky. Now, I'm sitting by a stream right now. And what do you notice about this stream? Well, there's like stuff in it, right? Leaves and sticks and just different things and the stream. And what are these leaves and sticks doing? Well, look, there's a leaf right there. Yeah, look, it appears, it hangs out for a little while, and then eventually it goes away. And in the same way, when you're meditating and you're observing your thoughts and your, your feelings and emotions and different images that come up, what happens is just like these leaves in the stream, they show up, they hang out, they try to control you. But if you have this approach, if you're sitting back as the witness and you're embodying this state of non-attachment, which they talk about in Buddhism very heavily, it's very important, very wise. What happens is when you detach from the thoughts and you become the one that's watching the thoughts, just like I'm the one right now that's watching these leaves pass down the stream, this is me, this becomes a meditation because what this helps me do is it helps me see that I am pure spirit. I am pure awareness beyond all these different things that I'm observing. And so by me not being attached, by me not identifying with any kind of form or object or thing, I am free in that alone. I am free in the, es in the essence of my being being pure awareness, being pure consciousness. And so that's the meditation, that's the practice. You simply watch your thoughts, and the more you do this, the more you just become aware, and you know that even if you like fall back into becoming attached to a thought or you start allowing a thought to control you, all, all you have to do is just return back to being the observer. And as soon as you become the, the observer of the thought in meditation, then it, it passes on, you allow it to flow. But if you try to hold on to your thoughts, if you try to control your thoughts, you're literally creating a blockage in the flow. You're creating something that is preventing the thoughts and feelings and emotions to move through the body naturally. And this is where we create all these uh, uh, negative buildups, which have a tendency to manifest in a very egoic way. All right, so just pretend your thoughts are like leaves passing down a stream, and you're just the one sitting on the bank of the stream, and you're just watching them. They come and they go. And if you want to use this too shall pass as a mantra, you can definitely do that. This too shall pass. This too shall pass. Um, and the more you do this, like I said, this, having this state of being in meditation where you're practicing non-attachment and you're just observing and you're just watching the thoughts pass by like you would watch leaves pass down a stream, having that state of being will pull you into the deeper states of meditation. So you're not going to have to like try to get into the deeper states of meditation. No, you simply being the witness, being the one that's just observing, detached, will slowly draw you in to the alpha brainwave state, which is where you start to feel really peaceful and calm, and then into theta, and then even into delta, or even into gamma, which is super consciousness, which is where you really have these mystical experiences. So, yeah, practice that. And the next time you meditate, don't try to control your thoughts. Don't try to not think about anything. Simply watch your thoughts. Let them do their thing. Sit back as the witness and meditate on pure being, the I am. And this will bring you in to the deeper states of meditation where you can have the profound experiences of self-realization. And this is enlightenment.